The FAR 360, also known as the BM-120, is an Iranian short-range satellite-guided tactical ballistic missile that has gained international attention due to its role in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. According to reports by the Times, Russia has received a shipment of over 200 ballistic missiles from Iran, marking a significant escalation in military support between the two nations. The FAR 360, which is likely part of this shipment, represents a pivotal development in the conflict, offering enhanced precision and mobility for our Russian forces. The FAR 360 is part of Iran's evolving missile program, and it was publicly unveiled on April 18, 2022, during the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Day. Built by Iran's aerospace industry organization, the missile features a solid fuel engine that allows for rapid deployment and quick launch times. This makes it an ideal weapon for tactical strikes, particularly in fast-paced and fluid battlefield scenarios. With a range of 120 to 300 kilometers, the FAR 360 is designed to hit a variety of military and infrastructural targets. It is capable of carrying a 150 kg squared and its guidance system utilizes global navigation satellite system technology, likely relying on the Russian GLONASS system for enhanced accuracy. The missile also employs initial navigation system as a secondary guidance method, ensuring that it can strike its targets with remarkable precision, even in adverse conditions. One of the FAR 360's key strengths is its ability to reach speeds of Mark 3 during flight and accelerate to Mark 4 during the terminal phase. This high speed, coupled with its small and maneuverable design, makes it difficult for air defense systems to intercept, increasing its effectiveness in penetrating defense networks. The missile's truck based launcher can carry multiple rounds ranging from 2 to 6 missiles per vehicle, allowing for rapid sequential launches. The arrival of the FAR 360 in Ukraine marks a shift in Russia's approach to the conflict. Previously, Russia's reliance on Iranian drones like the SAD-136 gained much attention, but the deployment of the Iranian ballistic missiles represents a new level of military cooperation between the two nations. Russia is likely to use these missiles for high-value, tactical strikes against Ukrainian military assets, logistics hubs, and key infrastructure. The precision and speed of the FAR 360 make it an attractive option for hitting targets deep within Ukrainian territory where older missile systems might be less effective. The deployment of the FAR 360 missiles by Russia could tear the balance on the battlefield, as Ukrainian forces must now contend with an increased threat of missile strikes. The precision and mobility of the FAR 360 could enable Russian forces to target Ukrainian defenses with more accuracy, potentially disrupting supply lines, weakening defensive positions, and hindering counter-offensive operations. Iran, as the primary operator and manufacturer of the FAR 360, has now established itself as a key supplier of advanced technical weapons to Russia. This transfer underscores Iran's growing influence in the arms trade and highlights the geopolitical implications of its military exports. The relationship between Iran and Russia has deepened over this course of the conflict with the transfer of ballistic missiles 
adding a new layer of complexity to their alliance. The FAR 360's export potential extends beyond the current conflict in Ukraine. As advanced mobility and highly precise ballistic missile, it could appear to other nations seeking to enhance their missile capabilities without resorting to expensive long-range missile systems. Nations facing regional conflicts or those with limited defense budgets might find the FAR 360 an attractive option for enhancing their technical strike capabilities. However, international scrutiny and sanctions could limit its widespread export. The FAR 360 is particularly suited for modern warfare, where mobility, precision, and rapid deployment are key factors in determining battlefield success its ability to launch multiple missiles from a truck-based launcher provides operational flexibility, allowing forces to strike multiple targets quickly or launch concentrated attacks on high-priority targets.